Have you ever met someone exactly halfway between your house and theirs? That halfway point is more than just a meetup spot. It's called a midpoint, and it's used in everything from maps to construction. In this video, you'll learn how to find midpoint, even when the numbers get tricky. A midpoint is the exact middle point between two locations on a coordinate plane. To find it, you take the average of the x values and the average of the y values. That means you add the two x values together and divide by two, then do the same with the y values. Let's find the midpoint between the points 2, 8 and 4, 12. Start with the x values. Add 2 plus 4, that gives you 6. Divide 6 by 2, you get 3. Now for the y values, add 8 plus 12, that's 20. Divide 20 by 2, you get 10. So the midpoint is 3, 10. Let's find the midpoint between the points 5, 7 and 11, 3. Start with the x values. Add 5 plus 11, that's 16. Divide 16 by 2, you get 8. Now for the y values, add 7 plus 3, that's 10. Divide 10 by 2, you get 5. So the midpoint is 8, 5. Example 3, midpoint of negative 4, 2, and 8, negative 6. To find the midpoint between two points, we average the x values and the y values. First, let's work with the x values. Negative 4 plus 8 equals 4. Now divide 4 by 2. That gives us 2. Next, let's do the y values. 2 plus negative 6 equals negative 4. Divide negative 4 by 2, and we get negative 2. So the midpoint is 2 comma negative 2. Example 4. We're finding the midpoint between 1 third, 2, and 5, negative 1 fourth. Step 1. Add the x values. Add 1 third plus 5. Rewrite 5 as 5 over 1. Using cross multiplication, we have 1 times 1 gives 1, and 3 times 5 gives 15. 1 plus 15 over 3, divide by 2. That's 16 over 3 divided by 2. Now we have 16 over 3 multiplied by 1 over 2. We simplify 16 and 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Final answer for x is 8 over 3. Now the y values, 2 plus negative 1 fourth, divide by 2. Rewrite 2 as 2 over 1. Now do cross multiplication. 2 times 4 is 8. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Now subtract. 8 minus 1 is 7. Place it over 4. That gives us 7 over 4. Now divide 7 over 4 by 2. Now multiply 7 over 4 times 1 over 2. 7 times 1 is 7. 4 times 2 is 8. Y value is 7 over 8. The midpoint is 8 over 3, 7 over 8. Example 5. What is the midpoint of 1 fifth comma negative 2 thirds and 4 thirds comma 3 fourths? Add the x values, 1 fifth plus 4 thirds over 2. Using a common denominator of 5 and 3, which is 15. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and 3 times 1 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 5 times 4 is 20. Now we have 3 plus 20 over 15. 3 plus 20 equals 23. So we have 23 over 15. Now divide by 2. 23 over 15 divided by 2. Using the rule for dividing a fraction by a fraction, we have 23 over 15 multiplied by 1 over 2, which gives 23 over 30. The x value of the midpoint is 23 over 30. Now for the y values, negative 2 thirds plus 3 fourths over 2. The common denominator of 3 and 4 is 12. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 
12 divided by 4 is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. Now we have negative 8 plus 9 over 12. Negative 8 plus 9 equals 1. So we have 1 over 12. Now divide by 2. 1 over 12 divided by 2. Using the rule for dividing a fraction by f fraction, we have 1 over 12 multiplied by 1 over 2, which gives 1 over 24. The y value of the midpoint is 1 over 24. The midpoint is 23 over 30, comma 1 over 24. To recap, we've explored how to find midpoints with whole numbers, negatives, and even fractions. This concept builds your foundation in geometry and algebra, and it's useful in real-world fields like architecture, navigation, and digital design. Ready for the next step? In our next video, we'll uncover the distance formula, a perfect companion to what you learned today. Let's keep building your geometry skills.